One way of building strength and muscle is understanding volume, and also understanding consistency over intensity. Now, what that means is, let's say, for instance, my maximum pull I can do is 10 reps, all right? And if I do 10 reps on a Monday, so I'm here, and I'm doing those 10 reps, and 10 is the only amount I can do, I can't do any more. If I do it on a Monday, I'm probably too sore to do it on Tuesday, a little bit sore on a Wednesday, and I'm probably gonna pick it up on a Thursday with another set of 10 reps. So in that week, I've done 20 reps of pull-ups. However, if I take it down a notch, and I'm more consistent in my approach, okay, I can increase the volume, amount of reps I do, over days. So let's say, for instance, I do six instead, but I can do six, four, five days, Monday to Friday, because I'm not nearing my absolute maximum, I can stay consistent with it, I'm not too sore to not be able to do it. Six pull-ups over five days is 30 reps, right? So in that week, I've accumulated 10 more pull-ups than I would have otherwise going for my max. Over the course, if I've done that all year, that'd be 520 pull-ups, right? That's a lot more. Obviously, you probably won't do five, uh, 520 extra pull-ups, but you can, you can see how the volume accumulates over time because I haven't gone to the actual maximum intensity but I've been able to maintain and stay fresh throughout. So that's how we want to look at volume and intensity. You really understand how it's more important to be consistent than it is to be intense. Intensity works in the short term but consistency works in the long term.